Hi friends, I'm excited to share a new layout with you today for the Vicki Booten design team. I am using the Wrapped in Ribbons collection for the first time on this layout and I absolutely love it. I love all of the colors and the embellishments and all of the super cute pieces and things that are included in the collection. So I had a great time making this layout. I started with that um, piece of patterned paper and used a bunch of different circle punches to cut out all, to punch out all the circles on that patterned paper and then I put them off to the side and got out a piece of foundations, um, mixed media white cardstock, and then one of Vicki Booten's uh, exclusive stencils. I've used this stencil before in a similar way and I took out a black sharpie and then I just traced on the inside of the circles in the stencil and I repeated it. You can kind of see that I laid the stencil over where I had already worked to try to make sure that everything aligned and the spacing all of it was all really good. Um, and then I got to work on filling all of those circles with paint. So the red color that I started with is actually a Shimmers product. It's, a, it's called Shimmers uh, Buddy's Favorite Color. And it's a reddish pinkish color and I love how it looked with the wrapped in ribbon wrapped wrapped in ribbons collection because there are some beautiful reds and pinks and kind of variations on of those colors. So I thought that that was a really good color to go with it. And then here I am using the cosmic watercolors, of course, and I'm using gold and I will tell you that I started with the red. And then I moved to the gold because I knew anywhere that the red was still a little bit wet, the gold would blend well with red. So those two colors blend pretty well together. And then off camera, I did use my heat gun to dry it just a touch and um, made sure it was mostly, it wasn't completely dry, but it was mostly dry before I added the green because red and green don't mix as well. So I didn't want anywhere that I put the green cosmic watercolors, I didn't want it to, to mix a whole lot with the red. So once I was finished with that, I went ahead and added some splatters. If you like a cleaner layout, this is a step that you could skip, but you know me, I love it to be as messy as possible. So here I am adding lots of splatters and then I do go back and add a little bit of the pink um, cosmic watercolor in little places to kind of add some variation to the layers. It kind of makes the circles look a little bit more layered when you go back and add just like big drops of paint and, uh, you know, kind of mess with it with your paintbrush uh, to make those circles look not so perfect. So I did that and you could tell I was working pretty quickly. I was not trying to stay perfectly inside the lines. I wanted it to look messy, but the lines were there because I love the black accent with my photos. So I then took iridescent glaze so this is a Vicki Booten product with American Crafts. And then I also took her pigment powders. I, I used these same pigment powders on the last layout that I shared for um, the VB design team, but I had used just that lighter green on that layout. So on this layout, I'm using the light green, um, but mostly the dark green pigment powder. And those pigment powders are fantastic. Those are a much older product. And... Um, the thing that I love about those is that they'll never go bad because they're not a wet medium or um, something that would dry out. So they're a completely dry pigment powder and they're great to mix in with things. So I took that uh, pigment powder with the iridescent glaze mixed together and I used one of this stencil. This is also an older um, Vicki Booten stencil. And I am taking it and just adding a few little layers of those circles and dots just peeking out where I know I'm going to have some clusters. So I kind of, in my mind, have created some clusters on the background, knowing where my photos are going to go. And I wanted that, um, that paper glaze just to peek out a touch to add some texture and that pop of green. But I didn't want it to be super overwhelming on the layout. So by adding it just here and there in a few places, I was able to achieve that. And then I did sit that off to dry for quite some time because the paper glaze does take quite a while to dry. It's not as fast as like gesso or texture paste. The glaze is definitely a wetter medium and um, takes a little bit longer to dry. Also, if you're super particular about how your glazes finish, um, like putting it through a stencil, sometimes glazes do bleed under the stencil a little bit just because it's a thinner wet medium. Um, if you're okay with that, go ahead. I'm okay with it. I love how that looks. So it doesn't bother me at all, but just 
to forewarn you, um, the paper glazes are a little bit, uh, you have to be more careful with a stencil. So that now I am taking my photos. I backed them on black cardstock. The reason I chose black this time, I usually back um, add a layer of white behind my photos, but I wanted a really good contrast. And then in the photos, my daughter is um, in a black leotard in all four of the photos. And I thought black was a great accent for, uh, for the layout. She, in the top two photos, she's in um, red and green reindeer antlers and a red and green little uh, skirt for her first dance. And then um, in the bottom one, she's in white. So red and green, black and white was a really good color combo for this, for the pictures. So here I took the circles that I had cut, um, punched and fussy cut out of that big patterned paper, distressed the edges of all of those. And then I am creating some clusters around the photos. And I did want your eye to be drawn to the photos. So I'm kind of tucking those clusters in really closely to the photos. And you'll see as I go. For the title, I took, this is cut from one of the patterned papers. So the four by six uh, cards uh, on one of the patterned papers had that word Mary and I loved that it was outlined in red so I cut that out and then sort of fussy cut around it and I noticed that I fussy I've been noticing that I fussy cut a lot I used to watch people fussy cut things and I thought oh my gosh I would never in my whole life ever do that what what a long time and so much detail that that would take but here I am living my fussy cutting dream life because I do it on every layout and I actually love to cut things out. So, um, but I was noticing that because someone had mentioned that they, on one of my previous layouts, that how, how much time I spend doing that. And I'm like, yeah, I, I definitely do. So I love it and it's okay with me. It's definitely a step you could skip if you don't like doing that. You could find another word to use or something, but I love to you know, use patterned paper in that way to be able to make my own embellishments and own titles and that kind of thing. So here I'm using the uh, black and gold font. This is, I do have to say, one of my favorite fonts ever. Uh, it is black. It has uh, gold dots, like the letter um, is outlined in, or like the center is uh, gold dots on those letters. And then there's several different sizes on the same sheets. So several different sizes of letters. And I love how that looks and thought it was perfect for this layout and every layout because it's it's just my favorite font ever. Um, so I spelled out the word ballerina. So my title is Mary Ballerina. I should have, in retrospect, one of the pictures she's in, she's doing a tap routine. So I should have said Mary Dancer, but I liked how the word ballerina looked. So it's okay. It totally, it's totally okay because she is in her ballet. She is doing ballet in one of the photo in the two photos on the bottom. So here I kind of played around with, oh, I did pop up the Mary on craft foam because I do have my photos popped up on craft foam. So the Mary I popped up on craft foam at the same level. So I kind of just worked around where the edge of the photo was um, so that just the parts that were hanging off of the photos, I put that layer of craft foam so it's all at one level. Um, hopefully that makes sense. And then I um, popped up embellishments here and there, some of the circles. Not all of the circles are popped up. I did it just, I kind of wanted uh, dimension and different layers. So in each cluster, a couple of them are popped up and a couple of them are flat on the background. And then I trimmed off the edges. So I um, cut off probably just a fourth of an inch of the white background and then glued that down, glued the whole thing down to black cardstock. And I love how that looks because it speaks to the photos. So the because the photos are outlined in black and then the background is outlined in black, it all, it all ties together in my mind. So I love how that looks. I did add um, some tangled thread behind the clusters and in and amongst the clusters. And then I added the year down here, 2023. And those numbers also come from the font. That's my favorite font ever. So uh, all, all of it works really well together. I love it. Uh, and then I added this little from the foam sticker sheet in the Wrapped in Ribbons collection. Uh, I took out that little banner that says a December to remember. 
And then I also took out the gold foiled stars and did a couple, a few here and there on the layout. Then I pulled out my crystals and half pearls and little embellishments and glued those. I used just the um, green, yellow, and red, or uh, some of the gold, green, gold, and red. And then I pulled out pops of color in those th same three colors and added those here and there around the clusters. And that wrapped up the layout. So that is the final layout. I've got some close-ups here so you can see what I did. If you have any questions, be sure and pop those down in the comments. Let me know what you think about the layout. And I hope you will check out the Wrapped in Ribbons collection. It is fantastic and it's available everywhere that you buy scrapbooking materials. So it's um, such a great collection and I love it. Hope you guys have an awesome week and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.